Now in this next part then, we've got the sketch of y equals f of x, and we're asked to sketch y equals f of negative x. So what does this do to any graph? Well, it reflects the graph in the y-axis. So that means that this part of the graph is going to look something like this. We're mirrored in the y-axis, and this part of the graph is going to come down like this. So if I show you that, okay, we should have that graph there. All right. And we've got to write in the coordinates of the maximum point. Well, on the previous graph, the maximum point was at the origin, so it's going to still remain at the origin. And the minimum point, well, that's going to be mirrored over to here, so that coordinate is going to be minus 2, minus 1. And what about this point where it crosses the x-axis? Well, this was at the point 3, 0. It's now at the point minus 3, 0. So I'll just mark in the minus 3 there. OK, well, this looks a bit confusing. So what I'll do is I'll remove the graph of y equals f of x, the original graph. And now you have the new graph, y equals f of minus x. So that represents then a reflection of any graph in the y-axis. OK, well that brings us to the end of this question.